in Sanifan, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them and teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you, says the Lord. Good morning. This morning's Mass has been offered for us and our families, and in particular, Carrie Breeden. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Good morning. Today the church celebrates the memory of Saint uh, Matthew, Apostle and Evangelist and Martyr. Let us come before the Lord now to confess our sins and so to prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Your sense of your the contrary of heart, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. And since this is a feast day, we say, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord, uh, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who with untold mercy, we're pleased to choose as an apostle, St. Matthew, the tax collector. Grant that, sustained by his example and intercession, we may merit to hold firm in following you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, I, the prisoner for the Lord, urge you to live in a manner worthy of the call you have received, with all humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another through love, striving to preserve the unity of the Spirit through the bond of peace, one body and one spirit, as you were also called to the one hope of your call, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all who is over all and through all and in all. But grace was given to each of us according to the measure of Christ's gift. And he gave some as apostles, others as prophets, others as evangelists, others as pastors and priests and teachers to equip the holy ones for the work of the ministry, for building up the body of Christ, until we all attain to the unity of faith and knowledge of the Son of God, to mature manhood, to the extent of the full strength stature of Christ. The word of the law. Thanks be to God. Responsorial song. Their message goes out through all the earth. Their message goes out throughout the earth. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament pro proclaims his handiwork. Day pours out the word today, and night to night and towards knowledge. The message goes out to all of them. Not a word, not a discourse, whose voice is not heard. Through all the earth their voice resounds, and to the ends of the world their message. Their message goes out to all of them. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Praise you, O God, and we acclaim you as Lord. The glorious company of apostles praise you. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy.
Holy Gospel according to Matthew. As Jesus passed by, he saw a man named Matthew sitting at the customs post. He said to him, Follow me. And Matthew got up and followed him. While Jesus was at table in his house later, many tax collectors and sinners came and sat with Jesus and his disciples. The Pharisees saw this and said to his disciples, Why does your teacher eat with tax collectors and sinners? Jesus heard this and said, Those who are well do not need a physician, but the sick do. Go and learn the meaning of the words, I desire mercy, not sacrifice. I did not call, come to call the righteous, but sinners. The Gospel of the Lord. As I was uh, reading this Gospel last night, and again this morning, and praying with it early this morning, uh, I was led to look at two different depictions of the call of Matthew. First one is a very famous painting by the Italian uh, Renaissance painter Caravaggio, uh, which is a picture of light and darkness. And we see, as you look at the picture, you see on the right-hand side of the picture, you just see the profile of the face of Jesus coming out of the dark into the light with his finger pointing. And Matthew is with a group of tax collectors counting coins at the table. And Matthew is looking up at the finger of Jesus and doing this. Me? You want me? Do you know who I am? Have you done your homework? It's a, it's a, a sign of disbelief that he's being called by Jesus with his past uh, and with the sinful ways in which he's extorting money from fellow Jewish people. So there's that one. And the second thing that I went to was uh, back to my the wonderful mini-series on the life of Jesus the Chosen the very end of season one, episode seven, where Jesus passes by the tax booth of Matthew and calls him. And uh, Matthew is having a very, very bad morning. He's collecting taxes very robotically. Uh, the, the Roman soldier who's stationed outside of the tax booth, I guess you know, to prevent some kind of crime from taking place, is, conversing with Matthew and telling him how fortunate he is to have this job with the Romans and how he's protected and how he has the best house of any of the Jews and so forth. And Matthew is not having any of it because he's been rejected by his own family who consider him to be traitors to the Jewish people and to the faith. And so he's all alone in life. He has no friends, no family who wants to rally around him. Uh, it's a really pitiable scene. And in that moment of deep darkness for Matthew, as he's robotically collecting taxes, Jesus stops by and he says, Matthew! Matthew looks like this. Son of Alpheus! Yes? Follow me. You want me to follow you? Yes. And this particular actor does the most marvelous job. There is such a range of emotions that cross his faith as he thinks about what has been offered to him and by whom it's been offered, because he knows who Jesus is at this point. And he keeps looking and keeps looking, and finally he closes his tax book and heads out of the booth, much to the upset of the Roman soldier who thinks Matthew's throwing it all away, and he begins to follow Jesus. All the pictures of this one scene to try to imagine, to put ourselves in the place of Matthew and imagine uh, being the outcast in your own city, the person uh, already rejected by your parents, having no friends, hated by everybody, and having this guy who he thinks is special and possibly even divine come and call him to a mission. It's unbelievable. Unbelievable. It's an incredible moment, an con incredible conversion moment captured, the picture captured in sacred scripture. And of course, that same call comes from the Lord to each of us. We may not be crooked tax collectors, 
but in some way all of us have fallen short of the kingdom and have fallen into some kind of sin or some kind of pattern or habit of sin even, and yet the Lord looks us in the eye and points to us and says, follow me. I want you to be my disciple. Follow me and I will transform you. Follow me and I will wipe away the sin of your heart and soul. I will wipe away your demons and all of your idols and you will become my disciple and my witness in the world. So the call of St. Matthew is the call of each of us. And we give thanks to God today for not discarding us in our darkness, but for wanting us to be part of his team, for loving us that much. Some, some people have said, can you imagine what the actual look of love was in the eyes of Jesus toward Matthew that pierced his heart so much that it changed his life in that moment? So let's today uh, maybe think about the look of love of God towards each of us and ask St. Matthew to pray for us that we too may be faithful followers of Jesus. We bring our prayers to God, our Heavenly Father. For the Holy Father, may God preserve his health and empower him in leading his people with joy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For leaders of peoples and nations, may God guide them in serving their people as Christ came to serve. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who suffer trials of any kind, may Jesus sustain them and grant them hope. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For peace in our world, for the men and women of the armed forces wherever they serve our nation and for the safety of our first responders who serve our communities, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an increase in vocations to the priesthood, religious life, and permanent diaconate and our sciences, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Through the intercession of Our Lady of Mount Sucker, may we be spared for loss and damage to life and property during this hurricane season. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us now pause to add our own intentions in silence. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For peace in Ukraine, for an end to war, violence, and racism. For a culture which respects life and the values of God, we pray to the Lord. Amen. Loving Father, please hear the prayers we offer, which we make in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, but for your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth, the work of human hands, will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, but through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine, the work of human hands, will become our spiritual drink. <laughs> Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. As we celebrate anew the memory of St. Matthew, we bring your sacrifices and prayers to the Lord, humbly imploring you to look kindly on your church, whose faith you have nourished by the preaching of the apostles, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you, Eternal Shepherd, do not desert your flock, but through the blessed apostles, watch over it and protect it always, so that it may be governed by those you have appointed shepherds 
to lead into the name of your truth of your son. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fountain of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. And bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Gregory, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, St. Matthew, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty, Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Thank you. Let us offer each other a sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, have mercy. 
mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. 
sharing in that saintly joy of the Lord with which St. Matthew welcomed the Savior as a guest in his home. We pray, grant that we may always be renewed by the food we receive from Christ, who came to call not the just, but sinners to salvation, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Uh, this morning, the uh, food bank is open, beginning at 9 a.m. in St. Joseph Hall. Uh, tonight, the uh, women's Bible study group, Walking with Purpose, is, uh, will be held at 7 p.m. in the parish center. All women are invited, and that will be repeated at 8.30 a.m. tomorrow in the parish center. This weekend, we have a, a resident of the Holy Land, uh, a Christian, a Catholic, coming to speak at the Masses about the plight of Christians in the Holy Land, and he will be selling olive wood articles from the Holy Land as a fundraiser for the needs of Christians. And uh, finally, we have several openings this weekend in our Adoration Chapel, 11 p.m. Friday evening. The woman who covered that for many years is now deceased. We need to get a permanent adora, but we need a temporary uh, substitute for this uh, Friday at 11 p.m. And Saturday, 2 p.m., 7 p.m. If you could make any of those three times, please let Dottie Watson go after Mass. Thank you. The Lord be with you. <laughs> May Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Have a great day. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle, be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God give him, we humbly pray, and do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all evil spirits who come about the world.